More land being donated near Unity Park for affordable housing. It's what's going on in the city of Greenville this week. Greenville City Council approved the transfer of a parcel on Meadow Streets to the Greenville Housing Fund. The donation will allow the Housing Fund and Jordan Development to enlarge a planned project on Oscar Street and add additional affordable units near the Holloway Trail. The city has donated land valued over $8 million for affordable housing projects within a mile of the park. Violent crimes in the city of Greenville fell by nearly 20% in the past three years. That includes a 43% reduction in murders and homicides. The Greenville Zoo welcomed a new primate, Capatua, a five-year-old Smith's red tail Gwinnon from the San Diego Zoo as part of a breeding program called the Species Survival Program. The zoo is also improving the lion exhibit to reduce the effects of arthritis on its aging 15-year-old big cats. Visitors will see a wooden platform which now enhances the natural climbing behavior of lions and eases stress on their joints. City Council unanimously approved Sustainable GVL, Vision for a Greener Greenville. The long-term plan includes recommendations in areas such as climate and energy, air and water, transportation and mobility, and will ensure future decisions are equitable and environmentally sound. Bloom Bridal said, I do, to opening in downtown Greenville. The boutique located at One City Plaza features a selection of gowns and jewelry curated from around the world. 39 teams have registered to participate in pickleball league play starting in March at Timmins Park. Youth soccer registration is open for co-ed, U4, U6, and U8 participants. The program begins in mid-March at Holmes Park. More opportunities for input. Drop-in sessions are scheduled for the draft development code from 4 to 6 p.m. on Tuesday, February 28th, and Wednesday, March 1st, at the Prisma Health Welcome Center at Unity Park. If adopted, the code will streamline and simplify the development process and protect and preserve the character of existing neighborhoods. Amos Valentine, Nickeltown Community Center Coordinator, served on a panel discussion at East North Street Academy as part of a Black History Month event. Amos also serves as a mentor for students at East North Street Academy. Architecture, food, and culture make Greenville a true Southern gem, says Home Design and Decor, the magazine picked us as their grand getaway in travel trends this week. Among the things they love, the Grand Bohemian Hotel, group therapy pub and playground, and new restaurant, Mr. Crisp. For the city of Greenville, I'm Cameron Williams.